What's good, heat seekers? It's your boy, Mo Dog, king of the streets, and I'm back at like a crack addict, stuck in rehab. Sorry for the wait. Your boy been leveling up, project managing some few projects, uh, collaborating with some uh, movers and shakers. So I am sincerely sorry for the wait. If it's your first time tuning in into the channel, please hit the subscribe button, comment, like the videos, hit the notification bell. That helps. That helps you stay alerted with uh, all my latest reviews on sneakers. And uh, and yeah, man, uh, for all returning subs, salute you, y'all. So I got some bangers for y'all. Y'all probably see them in the peripheral. Before I hop into them, I want to shout out LaBounce on the beat for tossing me this page review. Sheesh. Sheesh. What a come up for her. What a come up for her. These released on the 12th of December, I believe. Women. Only female account holders, I believe, on the archive website, were given early access to purchase the shoe. And the official release date was the 12th. But on the 11th, it was like, yo, guess what? I'm like, what, Charlie? These are sitting like some dugs. I'm like, what? Sitting like some dugs. It's like, I, I, never mind, never mind. Let me get busy. I'll hit you up once the bag is secured. Guess what? Two minutes later, she was like, I was able to cover the beat. I'm like, no way, no way. Got it. Get out of here, Charlie. Uh, but um, long story short, three, two, one, bam, bam, the A Jordan 1 mid S for women in the beetroot colorway. The color code just, um, description of the box reads black, dark beetroot, and white. Y'all can see already the white, the beetroot, and the black. Before I get into these shoes, before I get into these shoes, and we we have a discussion on them, um, I'll first go over. I'll first go over the overall construction of the shoe. Then we'll then we'll hash it out. Then we'll talk. Is they worth it? What's up with Jordan ones? Why aren't these particular shoes really seen on shelves? What's popping? So starting at the toe box area, it's a black smooth leather. On top of that toe box you find the signature a jordan one perforations for ventilation but done in a dark beetroot colorway y'all see that y'all see that so this if i don't know if the camera is catching it the way that i see it but if i were to describe it to someone this dark beetroot colorway is like a, a dark red wine a burgundy gang 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 and one this is one of my favorite details about the shoe, the colorway. Um, heading back to the shoe, the lace eyelets, the um, four foot of the quarter panel is done in a black leather, both lateral and medial side. The lace eyelets done in black, again, medial and lateral side. The quarter panel, the mid foot of the quarter panel is done in this white smooth leather. Stitched atop that white smooth leather is a is the Nike swoosh, also done in this beetroot colorway. Damn man! So um, heading to the back of the shoe, the ankle collar right on top. It's a it's a, it's a neoprene textile. It's like a, how do I describe it? It has a sheen to it, a nice shimmer to it when the light hits it right. Again, that same material is also used here on these cutouts here, on both the medial and lateral side. Going to the ankle collar, the ankle collar is done in this beetroot color. This leather tab right here, the back of the heel, is also in the beetroot color, but in the textile material. The heel also is done in this beetroot color. And then only found on the lateral side of both shoes. On the ankle, you find the A Jordan ball and wings logo. The tongue is done in a white, 
you know, white text down, top of the tongue, the tongue tag, you find a black patch with A Jordan, then uh, the jump man and the A done in this blue color. Ooh. The inner sole of the shoe, I'll get you some B-roll shots, I won't be able to take it out, is also done in, so the blue that you find on the tongue is also the same blue, is also the same blue that's found um, as the inner sole for cushioning. The midfoot, the the mid, the midsole is an all white midsole, a somewhat white midsole, and the outer sole is done in this beetroot colorway. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, the greatest traction, the best traction of all time for me personally is found on the A Jordan one. <laughs> Love the traction pad, yeah. So, getting into the creme de la creme, the. <sighs> I don't have enough adjectives for this. So, this Air Jordan one comes with a gold pendant on the lace, on the laces, on this black style, uh, flat style laces. They only give you one pair of laces with these shoes. I think they could have given the laces. They could have switched it up with the laces, given them these black flat style laces, but also an additional second pair of laces in this burgundy gang, this B2 color, just to give it an added pop. Should you want to uh, give the shoe a real, real pop over and above the gold pendants. So, on both shoes, on the tongue tag, the pendants is the jump man. Both shoes. Nice, nice, nice. I'll give you some B roll shots. The pendant beneath the jump band on both shoes are not the same in this instance here. So on the right shoe, you find a 1985, the year the Air Jordan 1 uh, debuted on Michael Jordan's feet. And then on the left shoe, you find the Air Jordan Ball and Wings logo. Nice big gold pendant. Beneath that stays uniform with the Jordan pendant. There's one here, there's the other here. And then right at the bottom at the base of the tongue, where the where you, where you start lacing the shoe, you find a, a woman gold pendant. Nice, nice, nice. These give the shoe a crazy, crazy pop. Neck breakers, I tell you. And uh, I've seen label, wow, been around, she was running the city and she was wearing these. Broke people's necks left, right. I'm talking old, young, male, female, whatever it is. Uh, no discrimination, man. Whether your sexual preference is asexual or whatever tickles your fancy, necks got broke here. So, so yeah. Now let's talk about this shoe. One for me, other than the gold pendants of the shoe. What I love most is the color blocking. This color blocking is, uh, I think, I stand to be corrected, was made famous by the A Jordan 1 Shattered Backboard 1.0 with a toe box, the swoosh, ankle collar, heel collar, outer sole was that um, starfish orange. They also did the same color blocking with the um, A Jordan 1 2017 release of the um, All Stars. I don't know if y'all know that. I don't know if y'all know that. I missed on the shoe. I was so upset. I was so upset. Then followed by the A Jordan One Bread Toe. The Bread Toe is doing crazy numbers. Not as close as, not as crazy as the Jordan One Shattered Backboard 1.0. But I would have never thought. The Jordan one bread toe would do crazy numbers like that. So ever since I've been following this trend, any any Jordan one that has a particular color blocking that mimics some of the OGs or new uh, how, do, how, how do I say uh, new color blocking that Jordan didn't wear, but the storytelling behind that color blocking made the shoe blow up like the shattered backboard where it told 
a story of an exhibition game that Jordan played in Italy and he shattered the main brain and one of them fight for the main brain cast on it. The huge. Okay. Please, guys, hit me up in the comment section. Tell me what you all think of this. Tell me also, do you think the color blocking on Jordan? Jordan wants to be specific. Determine how the resale value forms. I, I'm not about resale value, but in some shoes I do strike out and I do head to the oh so murky waters of the resale market where if I really love a shoe and um, if the price is right, I, I do dabble in the in the resale. Um, I don't judge, I have bought to resell like come up so uh, if you can't beat them join them at first I was like net resell it come all I can't hit on my shoes but when I looked at it it only makes uh, economic sense to join and uh, have a come up yourself so hit me up in the comment section tell me what y'all think of reselling resellers would you devil too so uh, hit your boy up in the comment section uh, for me, I'm Audi 80 baby for now, and um, thank you again for tuning in into the channel. Comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hit your boy up on IG, the handle is at Hall of Fame Mo, and uh, it's only entertainment, baby. Bye.